Hey 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 everyone this is me Anupam and today I'm gonna show you top 10 mistakes that you did in your Varo Woods account. Also thanks for Mighty Spectre and Azam786 for helping me in making this video. You should check out their channel so without wasting any time let's dive right into it. We all have used stupid builds in our hangars like mixing up brawling weapons with camping weapons, support weapons with long range weapons or may even target lock on weapons with the manual weapons and in some cases this works in most cases this doesn't work like mixing out long range weapons with small homing weapons like mixing a trebuchet with uh, the aphid is not gonna work out well i have also done it a lot of times in my account purchasing the wrong titan this is one of the biggest mistakes you can do in war Robots because it costs you a lot of platinum to buy a titan and it is really hard to collect platinum because it is one of the most expensive currency in the whole game so i recommend you to make sure that the titan you are going to buy is worth your platinum or else you're gonna regret it later in the game almost every bot has a paint job and there are two different kinds of paint job for each skin one is the regular paint job and the second is the special paint job the special paint job provides the skin and it also provides a 5% HP bonus. The regular paint job on the other hand provides only the skin and nothing else. Some regular paint jobs can be bought with gold. And on, on tier 4 bots, the cost of regular paint jobs can cost up to 1000 gold. All that just to look better and nothing else. Instead, you can use the 1000 gold in methods that will actually make your hanger stronger even if it is just by a little. For example, you can get a better pilot skill or you can get a better microchip for your drone. Another mistake I have seen is when you spend uh, a lot of gold on drone slots. Like, you can spend them on your robot slots, but many people just choose to buy another slot of the drone, even though they don't have 5 premium drones already. I have seen some player unlock the drone slot even before getting 5 premium drones. Like, what is the point of this? You can't even use 6 drones in a battle. Um, and most of the players don't even play free for all. So, in most game modes, you won't be even able to use all of your drones. Like, you could use some of the, your drones. Like, you can maybe definitely use 5 of yours. But, your 6th drone that you would unlock is not even gonna be used. Because, most of the time, some players don't even play free for all. And even in free for all, having no premium drones is gonna affect your gameplay a lot. Like, having 6 basic drones is not gonna be very better than having at least 5 premium drones. So many people ignore this very useful setting, this is called the manual target lock on button. It makes it so much efficient to aim at the enemy and switching between two targets. To enable this, you need to open settings, then tap on advanced settings, then just simply enable manual targeting. You can even enable it in middle of a battle. You just need to open menu and then interface, settings and then enable manual target lock on button. It will help you a lot. Another mistake I have seen is when some players don't even pay attention to the real drones. Like they exist there for a reason, you should be using them. And some players just think that this is a waste of time and I should not use my drones. And uh, in some cases it's okay, but when you have premium drones and you don't even install the right microchips on them, that is a very common mistake and I have seen a lot of my friends are even doing it already. Like they don't even pay attention to the real drones, some don't even spawn with the drone and they just ignore drones and uh, because maybe either it's too complicated for them or maybe they think that it's too expensive or whatever but um, a lot of my friends do that and i think that you also have sometimes done that mistake like not using your drone or maybe not installing microchip on them or maybe don't even paying attention to what microchips you are winning or maybe don't combining them some don't even combine their microchips like some even don't pay attention to what even microchips do so this is a common mistake and I've seen a lot of players doing it already. Making bots or weapons in the workshop consumes a lot of silver and a lot of time. It can take weeks to make just one weapon. So it's better to invest the time and the silver into what you really need. 
you need to look at your hanger and decide it is better to have different kinds of bots in your hanger than to have three or more of the same bot so take a look at your hanger and decide what your hanger is lacking and go make it both Ares and Fafnir are tier 4 bots so both of them require the same amount of resources used to upgrade them and yet they both produce a much different result. Bots and weapons that used to dominate the battlefield long ago do not and cannot do the same now. So it is best to invest your precious resources into the right bots and weapons aka the latest meta, the newer equipments and all that. It is better to invest your resources into that for a much better result. Although some players still enjoy using the, the previous meta. Admit it, we all did this one mistake once in our war robots history. We all used Natasha's Zenit Norikam build once, which is kinda funny because it is one of the worst setup in the entire game and it is not good even if you max it to level MK3. It's because the accuracy of Zenit and Norikam is so bad that it doesn't even hit the target when it's moving and even if the target is not moving, it does not have an insane damage output. And the final mistake I have seen is some players buying 4 geckos for a GI pattern. Like some players just get killed by a gecko and they then start thinking that whoa this is a very cool weapon, it is a cool laser weapon, I should buy it. And then they see the price tag which is only 750 and what they do next, they buy some of them or maybe tons of them. Some Like I bought 4 of them and I even upgraded them to MK2 level 12 and they were pretty fun for a while and after a while when um, bots started getting physical shields, energy shields or whatever they, then I started seeing that they're not even doing that enough damage and then I was just like okay maybe I, my gold just got wasted and that's what happened with me I think it happened with you as well like even my a lot of my friends have already bought um, tons of geckos and because just because they thought that it was cool or maybe awesome the thing with Gekko is that it is a, such a cool looking weapon like you fire a laser beam at the target and also it is very annoying like getting killed by a Gekko can make you think that Gekko is a strong weapon. So there we go guys, top 10 mistakes that you did in War Robots. Me, Mighty Spectre and Azam worked a lot on this video so consider checking out your channels and liking this video. So see you later in the next video, also let me know in the comment box below that how many of these mistakes that you did in your War Robots account. Catch you later in the next video, thanks for watching. DO IT! JUST DO IT! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow, so just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it!